Hey everybody, welcome to the video. Now, if you watched my channel back in November, you'll know that I did a live stream on Cubes 2020, which is where we are right now. And you would have seen this very intro clip. <sighs> 10.32, still on the train. We ever gonna get out of this tunnel? I don't know, I mean, it's just, it's just lights outside right now. Going, oh, oh, what, are we, are we there? The next station is Cubes 2020. Please mind the gap between the train and the platform. Oh, finally. I should probably stand up and get ready to go. No, I'll sit down again. Okay, receiver station. We're nearly there. Finally, Cubes 2020. So why don't we make our way over there now and we'll go to the train station and I'll show you exactly how this thing was made. I think you're going to like it. It's rather easy. It uses just a bit of green screening and yeah, l let's go. <clears throat> Moving on. So to be honest, this is actually quite an easy scene to replicate. As you can see, we've got the tube train down in the bottom left. That is a block for block recreation that I did by hand from the cube server. And then you can possibly see, which we're about to go into now, this is where the actual train movement scene was filmed. This is the light sequence. And actually, this was actually reversed. So it's going this way instead. So what we're going to do, we're going to come out of here. You can see it just uses a minecart, but we'll go into all of that detail in a minute. And now I'm actually going to show you how this works and you won't actually believe how simple this is so as i said you just got to build your little design and uh you can do this with shaders though you may have noticed and i'll show it on the video now you may have noticed that this little corner here did have a slight bit of green on it that's because I was using the shaders and the lighting was different throughout. I'm actually going to turn off my shaders for this tutorial and possibly you should too. Depends on what you're doing with the green screen. Then again, if you do want the best results, make sure you're not using shaders because then you'll have that nice clean edge around the blocks. So once you've got your build created and you've got the green screen up, you may even have to go down a few blocks. Just make sure, go inside the build and make sure that your floor cannot be seen, especially if it's the same color. For my example, I had the camera set up here at about 30 FOV and this is where the camera was. I made sure that the only bit of green visible was this bit and no other green was visible. Now as you can see I do actually have a tree up there but because I had the shader pack on this couldn't be seen. So just take things into consideration when setting up your camera shot and place the camera right here. Once you've done that you can grab yourself a Minecraft account, a second one that is, and set it up as the camera. So right there we've, we've got the camera set up or if you don't have two Minecraft accounts you, you can always just get yourself a friend to be the camera or even the actor just get them to put your skin on and everything will be fine anyway then what you want to do is get yourself in position and sort of start acting things up be like you know just Ugh. am i ever going to get off this train i mean you know take a look outside we're still going through the tunnel Ugh. are we ever gonna oh oh announcement um I, oh 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 uh, probably probably sit back down ah uh, finally we're gonna be off this train soon i mean oh i, I can see the station huh we're here cubed Okay, and then that's going to be our clip. And then what we need to do is we actually need to go ahead and record ourselves a background clip. So, yep, it's all, it's all well and good having that, but we do actually need to do the background, which, as I say, is inside here with the minecart. This part can be done on your own. You don't need a second account, though it is a lot easier to control the buttons. Also, do make sure you have absolutely no light coming in from natural places. Obviously, I've got these lights, but these are different. Something to mention, of course, not all of your scenes are gonna be in dark areas. This example is just for places like tube trains or underground trains and things like that. In the video later on, I do show another example that's with a car. So just be aware that you don't need to always be inside of a dark area. This is just for this one example. And what I am going to do, because we've got motion blur on our shaders, I am going to use shaders for these. Now, this is because this part isn't being chroma keyed. This is our background. So we don't need to chroma key the background because that's going to be visible at all times. And you'll see what I mean by the chroma key. If I do this, it's sort of harder to see whilst we're not moving and what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to get ourselves in a pretty similar position now one thing i can recommend is when you're getting your foreground shot over here so for example mine was inside the train make sure you copy down your coordinates uh most importantly your directional coordinates which you can see on screen now it's those two numbers there um Make sure you copy those down because when you get in the minecart or even before you get in the minecart, what you can do is you can do a teleport command. You can do slash TP your name and then you can do three tildes like so and then you can do the number 
and you'll see your character will teleport around and it, it will be all fancy and for some reason it's not working for me i think it's because i've got the camera mod on but that usually works and and that's that's about it so put in your numbers and then it works Tr trust me it works Oh, hang on a minute. It might have been because I don't have permissions. Hang on a minute. Ah, yeah. Nothing to do with the camera mod. It's the fact I don't have permissions because I'm running a world downloaded thingy at the moment. So, yep. Yeah, that will teleport you to the directions. So if I do a, two, a 20, I go to 20. If I do 9, I slightly go up. And that's how that works. So, yeah. We're now going to sit inside our minecart. Obviously, make sure you're facing the right way. Make sure you're in an entirely dark area. Think about depth and detail as well. So how far away should the moving background be? Obviously, if it's something like this, where you're just going to be in one space, say, for example, you're driving a car, make sure you're in the same Y level. If you go down, just take that into consideration. Or what you can do is you can place down some stairs, which if it's, you know, probably not going to be noticeable maybe make sure your stairs are the same color as the surrounding area so i'm going to be using these smooth sandstone stairs and then let's say you had a car you'd come around here and you'd just go down like that hey i might have even added a car there just for fun i don't know so we're going to want to hitch a ride in a minecart we're going to want to set our fov to 30 again and then we're just going to let the minecart do its thing now i'm not sitting in the exact same position but we are in a good enough position it's near enough correct so we're just going to let this minecart go for a bit and i'm going to use this same footage i'm not going to use the footage that i used in the intro clip for the cube stream because that would be cheating but one thing you will know if you watched the video carefully when the announcement happens on the cubed train the background slows down this minecart's going at the same speed all the time so how did i do that well we've got our footage now let's open up our editing software and i'll show you how i did it so how did I do it? Well, as you can see, we have our footage here. This is what we recorded earlier on in the video. We've got our train sequence where we're talking. I mean, you know, take a look outside. And we've also got our background footage. And it's quite simple, actually. All we're going to do is we're just going to drag our footage down to here just so we can, you know, trim it. And then what we're going to do is we're going to use this footage. So as I say, we have our footage. We're going to sort of do this. And we're going to do the following. We're going to want to go into our... I'm using Movavi Video Editor plus 2020, but it will be something similar. We're going to go into the More Tools, and you want to find Chroma Key. And you want to click the Eyedropper tool and click the green. Now, if you haven't used Minecraft Shaders, then the green will be the same. So just click that. Obviously, if there's any other green in your studio or in your set, then you may need to change that to a color that's not. Or if your video editing software allows you to do different parts of the video then choose a different section of the video maybe if you're using premiere pro or something similar like that use a mask and do it like that but the easiest way to do it is use chroma key and as you can see because we haven't used shaders we don't actually have that border so we now have a clean cut and what we've got now is this am i ever gonna get off this train i mean you know take a look outside We're... so it doesn't really look like anything's happening so how do we create that background loop well, what we're going to do is we're going to choose our background loop and we're actually going to apply a filter to it. So we're going to go to filters and we're going to go to the blur and we're going to add a motion blur filter. And the reason we're adding the motion blur filter is so it looks like the train is moving quite fast. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back to our little clip and we're going to drag our foreground clip into the overlay and we're going to use this as our background. But before we even do that, we need to actually work out a background loop because we don't actually have much footage to work with. This is the footage we have to work with. And as you can see, it's not much. And if we start looping that, then it's not going to look the best you can see so we're going to want to trim this slightly and trim this slightly and we should create now you can see this is sort of a bit weird and if you're not looping then good good decision so let's try and match this up the best we can 
I would say sort of there. And let's see how well we've done. So as you can see, it's a bit janky. And for some reason, it seems to be different to what I'm telling it to do. This is fun. And as you can see, now we have a bit more of a better loop. Now, don't worry that this looks a bit weird. This will all look fine in the final cut. And then we should have our background. So now, if we go ahead and put this up here, what we should see is we have a background. Now, as you can see, because I didn't actually do the coordinates properly our background looks terrible now luckily we can actually get away with this because we've used a background that is all black and it's pitch black in that room as you saw all we got to do is go into our overlay and we've just got to move it up and we can do this by tilting it so when you go crop and rotate we can do this and as you can see we are really actually going to get away with this you can see we've nearly actually made it work and i'm saying actually a lot again what is wrong with me we can even bring this down and as you can see, maybe just bring it up slightly. It's all about the just playing around with it, trying to get the right thing. And as you can see, that's about it. That, that's it. That's as good as it's going to get. So we're going to bring this over to here and we're going to do this. And what we should see now is that this will look pretty good. Now, as you can see, it, it's doing some funny things, which it wasn't doing for me. So have a go at just removing your transitions because you never know you might not actually need them if you need the transitions that's fine but sometimes you don't and as you can see it's not very noticeable that it's looping it just depends on how you get it but that is the basic idea i've just realized that that is talking over me but yeah that's the basic idea am i ever gonna get off this train i mean you know take a look outside with and yeah, if you want to do the announcement voice, just record yourself. This, this is how I did the announcement voice. Record yourself, pitch it up, add some delay effects, and then to make it slow down, again, nice and simple, all you got to do is paste in a few more, and then when the train starts to slow down, just ever so slightly take down the speed. So I'm going to do 95, and then maybe we'll do 80, like so, so this is in percentages, and then maybe we'll do um, 75, and then we'll do 70 and then just have a playback and that should look like the train is slowing down ah uh, finally we're gonna be off this train soon i mean oh, i can see the station huh. we're here cubed now just remember this is a very rough cut this is done quickly so in the actual example you know it didn't actually have that weird jankiness as you can see So yeah, that was done with no rushing, but this, this is just a simple tutorial. But yet now you know how to do it, it can be done. Am I ever going to get off this train? I mean, you know, take a look outside. With... You've just got to play around with it and get it right. So yeah, thanks for watching everybody. That's it. That's how you can make green screen in Minecraft and make moving vehicles like I did with this one, especially with the, uh, with the car. And then let's say you had a car, you'd come around here and you just go down like that. That's how you do it. Thank you so much for watching everybody, my name's been Happy and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.